Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and this is John Lindowski. Hey everyone. Hi John. Hey. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Seattle Kraken hat trick? Yep. Well, that's what we're talking about today. And you can get these Seattle Kraken hats at our sponsor, Hockey Locker, 202 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Alrighty, so we got Seattle Kraken gear going, so we're talking about the Seattle Kraken. With that being said, they did sign their first player. Yep. And I'm working on that now, but by the time I get that... Well, we wait for that to come up. We are uh, officially uh, doing a mock draft today. Yep. Our, our first and our only one we're going to do. Uh, yeah. We waited till after the trade deadline for specific reasons. Um, I know I've been bugged about it by several people about, well, are you guys going to do it? You guys right. talk about them. Are you going to? Are you going to not? Well, the decision is we are. Anyway, for the future, sorry, no Alex Trebek anymore. But the next Jeopardy question, who is the first player that the Seattle Kraken signed? Luke Hinneman. Yep. 21-year-old center out of Quebec. Quebec Major Junior League. He, uh, he is signed to a two-way, three-year deal. His, uh, uh, his contract is, I believe, probably league minimum. Probably. I have no clue, but that's uh, the new there. So let's get into the uh, actual. Expansion draft. Now, we have already protected all our players. Yep. So all our players are protected. That that uh, we thought um, would be protected. Right. So we're gonna get into drafting our team. So let's draft the team. We need thirty players. Right. So from the Anaheim Ducks, we select. Ooh. Sonny Milano. Reason is Sonny Milano is still under contract for a year. Yeah. After that, uh, he is at a reasonable cap price. He's also only 25. Right. Um, that is a safe place to go. The other two option was Hayden Flurry. And it's back and forth on that. But it doesn't leave you much room to move on. Arizona Coyotes. Our pick. Is Antti Ranta. Now. I could go Tyler Pitlick or right. Jonas Larson, but yeah, Antti Ranta, they'd be able to work on a contract. Right. That takes care of itself. All right. Next up. Pick up from the Boston Bruins. Craig Smith. Reason why? Under contract for two more years. He's a reliable player. You know, played in the cup before with Nashville. We'll see where that goes. All right. Here's where it gets a little dicey. From the Buffalo Sabres, we select Casey Milstead. Casey Milstead has high upside. He's an RFA, so you can re-sign him. Right. He hasn't really proved himself, so you'll get him for about a million dollars. Which all that matters is staying under the cap. Right. You know, you got to stay under the cap. That is another thing that we are working with. We have to stay inside the cap. Right. So, with that being said, staying with staying inside the cap from Calgary, we do take a big contract here. Yeah. And, and... Uh, Mikel Black Backlund. The reason why, 32 years old, veteran center. You know, you need veterans, especially with us going young in the beginning. Right. 
Good to have Justin Kirkland just to be a homer here, but mm -hmm. we're not doing that. Alrighty, on to Carolina. Now, this is where certain people in the Carolina organization may hate me, but I'm taking Alex Nedeljkovic. Reason why is you do have to take a minimum of three goalies. Right. Nadalkovich, if one year two do not work out, or you say we can't work out a deal with Ranta, Nadalkovich is a good choice for a third choice. Right. All right. On to Chicago. Chicago. The man who moves everywhere, Vinny Henestrosa. He has played for six teams in the last five years. Oh, wow. Well, guess what? Welcome to Seattle. <laughs> Alrighty, then we get to Colorado. Now, John's not going to like this. But here, we're taking Valtteri Nachushkin, reason being, and he knows this, young player, solid upside on the wing, yep. and you have him under contract for at least two years. I could have took Kamenev to be a homer, <laughs> but he's a UFA now, so we'll leave that alone. Alright, so now we're going to go with Dean Kukin from Columbus. Reason being, we haven't picked many defensemen. No. <laughs> and Dean Kukin is a 27-year-old defenseman who you have under contract till 2022. Right. Alrighty. Now we get to Dallas. Dallas is a little bit of a harder spot because here's where you have to make your choices. And with them, I'm picking Andre Sakara. The reason being is when you are a new team, you're going to have to stick your feet in the ground and grit it out the first couple games because yeah. nobody wants to be the first team that loses to you. Right. Dallas, done. Detroit, I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we pick up Christian Juice, defenseman. Reason why, Christian Juice, solid defenseman, Stanley Cup experience. Yeah. And he's an RFA. Edmonton Oilers. We're going with Kyle Turris. Reason being is, and, and this is my personal opinion, personal opinion, that Kyle Turris is on his way out of the NHL. Nashville didn't want him. Edmonton wants to get rid of him. If you get bought out by two teams in two years, not really a good sign for your career. No. So at that point, that's why I'm taking the center there. Alrighty. On to Florida. Florida, we're taking Anton Strawman. Reason being behind that, Anton Strawman has been a steady main horse of any winning team yeah. that has gone to the cup over the last five years. Right. Strawman, over the last five years, has played in three of them. They may not have won, but they were there. Right. All right. Now, we're with L.A. With L.A. I'm selecting forward Martin Furk. Solid forward, big guy, hits hard, and yeah. has over a 100 mile an hour slap shot. Yep. Solid choice to take. It is. If, for a young, if you're a new team, Minnesota Wild. Sorry to do this to you. Matt Dumba. You lose one of your stud defensemen. Yeah. But you got guys with no trade clauses. Right. And unless you can get them to waive them. 
It can't be promised. Alrighty, on to Montreal. Montreal has an interesting thing here going on. One of them is that in this one, you really don't have a lot of options for a solid player. So, I mean, if you're looking for veteran experience, stall might be one of them. But he's a UFA. Yeah. So if he doesn't want to be there, he doesn't have. He doesn't have to be. So, with that being said, someone like Jake Evans, who's 24 years old, you at RFA next year, right. you can build your team around him. The part that affects us most. Yeah. Nashville. So, Nashville here, if, now this is if, I'm against what I'm doing. Okay? So I'm going against our team. Not that I like doing this. Seattle selects Cal Yarncroft. Kelly Oncroc's coming off the best year of his career. Yeah. Almost matching his points from last year in half the games. Right. Yeah, can't go any further than that. I was able to protect all top four defensemen and still not lose a defenseman. Impressive enough as it is, Kelly Oncroc's replaceable. Right. Alrighty, New Jersey Devils. That's easy. P.K. Subban. Yeah. Reason for P.K. Subban is veteran defenseman still has scoring ability and you take a cap hit off the Devils, they'll probably throw you a pick. Right. Alrighty, New York Islanders. The New York Islanders, we are taking Andrew Ladd. Reason behind Andrew Ladd is, though he may be 35, he's probably got one more good run left in him. Right. You could take Johnny Boychuk or, or Thomas Hickey, but they're both old. Yeah. You know, and the, as an aging defenseman, it doesn't get any better. You can take a Sebastian Ajo, the defenseman, but what good's that going to do you? He's nowhere close to the scoring ability of the other one. Right. All right. New York Rangers. Sorry to do this to y'all, but Pavel Buchnevich. God. Reason by that is, the other option is, they take Colin Blackwell. Reason they take Colin Blackwell? Well, I'm a homer, so we're taking Colin Blackwell. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, add speed on the wings. All right, so now here, I gotta go back a little and take a look around. Ottawa. Ottawa. Ottawa, you're going to hate me. But we're taking Derek Stepan. Nope. We're taking Chris Tierney. Chris Tierney, yeah. under contract, one more year, another ability, high ability on, the, on that level, solid area, weight, uh, solid scoring ability. Right. All those things go into hand. All right. So now we're at 59 cap. We have 21 picks. We have nine to go. Still got a solid room of cap here. Right. Been kind of playing a little hide and go seek with the cap. But you, you make your picks to build your team. And when you build your team, you need a pure score. And when you do that, you draft guys like James Van Riemsdyk. Right. Reason you do that. There's no way. In forum. The other option is Shane Gostaspear. Shane Gostaspear is an offensive defenseman who can, is much like a Roman Yosef, right. but he will also hit you. Yep, he will. So that adds that. In Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Eh, why not? Freddy oh, Gaudreau. Yeah. <laughs> All right. San Jose. With San Jose, you're really not 
left with a lot of options with all of their RFAs. So in our consideration, in all honest consideration, the only option you have is Brad of Seco. St. Louis. St. Louis here. What I'm doing is I'm going Marco Scandella. The reason why is Marco Scandella carries a good defensive ability. Right. And it takes care of everything you need to do. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to come back to Tampa Bay and go to Toronto. And with Toronto, I select David Riddich. The reason I select David Riddich, actually, I do Toronto next. And here we take, where did you go? Alex Golchenyuk forward. The reason why, $1 million cap hit. You could probably re-sign him for the same from Vancouver. I took Braden Holpe. Um, he did not turn out for Vancouver the way they wanted him no. to at all. Right. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, you're going to get hit hard. We're at the cap. Still got to make two more picks. You know. Tampa Bay is going to get hard, hit hard because it's you're losing Eric Sernak. The reason, actually, you're losing Cal Foot. The reason you're losing Cal Foot is you've played the minimum games in the AHL, yeah. hit the minimum age requirement, and he's a young defenseman with a lot of upside. Yes, he is. And if you're going to be building in the future, got to go there. Anyway, speaking of going there. We are down to Washington and Winnipeg. Yep. And we have roughly 5.5 .5 million in cap to work with. So with that being said, from Washington, we're taking Daniel Sprung. Yep. Reason why? Young player, offensive ability. Right. Like I said, a lot of those these come back to that. Yeah. And here's where that, why I did that. And here it comes. The reason I did that, final pick, Eric Comrie, young goalie, you know, just being blocked by Laurent Francois, and there ain't no way they're moving him. Right. And Berdine and Cole Keeler are coming up, yeah. so he's not going to get much time in the AHL either. No, he isn't. So, that being said, the Seattle Kraken draft is completed, so now we can view our team. And with that being viewed... We have a cap, a projected cap hit of sixty-six million. Okay, so projected cap hit, meaning that we got to sign Alex Kochenyuk, Vinny Hinnestroza, Casey Middlestad, and Freddie Gaudreau. Right. Shouldn't be hard to get those guys to re-sign. No. Especially with Middlestad being an RFA. All right. Defensively, the only big hit we took. Was P.K. Subban. And his contract's up after next year. Right. So, with that being said, we're not really going to eat anything. And, you know, um, Christian Juice and Cal Foot, both RFAs. Yeah. Goaltenders. I mean, all you got to do, sign Nadalkovich and Comrie or Ranta. Right. Or all three. Yeah. You could have Nadalkovich go one more year on a two-way deal. Right. You could. And that leaves you 
where the only problem it leaves you with is in three years, <laughs> you have three guys on your team. In four years, you're going to have to reschedule and redo everything, and you'll be looking at zero cap hit. Right. But with that being said, all of those things, the reasons we drafted the way we would, if we were the GM, right. they all made sense. You think about it, and you really look at it. Imagine having Braden Holpe, Auntie Ronson, Alex Nadalkovich, and Eric Cobbery. One right. of those is about, one of those UFAs is about to reside. Nadalkovich is an RFA, so you're going to get him back. So with those two being said, he is arbitration eligible. So if he does want to fight your contract, he can arbitrate, and right, and make you pay what he wants. But uh, same thing with Christian Juice. But Christian Juice can't be really too picky because he's never really been the top player, right. and you know <coughs> you also have a room. For guys you do draft or have planned on drafting, that you can turn them around and trade them. Right. You can trade. There's going to be trades and moves and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. This is just a mock draft. Yep. I can't make no promises. We drafted 16 forwards, 10 defensemen, and 4 goalies. Right. You know, obviously, out of all that, we still got 21 out of the needed 20 contracts for 2023. Right. So that's all necessary going forward um, for Seattle. Um, now, we're really looking forward to it because, for us, it's a new team. It's it's excitement, not as much. Right. I mean, it's it, it, let's just say this. For me, it's more excitement than with Vegas. I did not like that move at all. From a hockey fan perspective, it is a tourist trap. You are putting eight hockey teams in tourist traps. Therefore, we go vacation there, and we can go watch hockey. Right. Oh, yes, and then gamble on it while we're there, too. Yeah. I, I'm just not big into that. Right. Now, the other upside. The only downside to Seattle, they will have no AHL team next season. Right. Theirs is not coming in until 2022. Right. Uh, 21-22 season. Or no, that would be this year. Next year, the 22-23 season. Right. Sorry. Uh, they're not coming in until then as well as their ECHL team. Right. So they have to kind of wing it. Hey. Call us up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll take players for a year. Uh, but, you know, with that being said, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. That was our Seattle Kraken yep. uh, expansion draft. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want to do your own Seattle Kraken expansion, go over to Cap Friendly and click the um, interactive area and do Seattle Kraken expansion. Right. Uh, so uh, this was has been our video. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a good weekend, and we will see you guys later. He will see you tonight. Yep.